everybody and happy Tuesday. This is Lisa Freeman from stampingwithlisa.com coming to you live on YouTube. And sorry, I'm a little bit late. I got stuck at work today. I was supposed to get off at five and then just stuff kept happening and I didn't get out of there till six and then there was a um, accident on the way home and I just got home <laughs> like 20 minutes ago and I just wolfed down something really fast because I was starving. So now I've got my video ready. So this is the card we're making tonight. <clears throat> it's uh, a little bit different than most of my usual cards. I was trying to do something kind of easy and um, I found a card I had made a couple years ago and I was like, oh, I should try that one again because it was with a different butterfly, but same basic idea. So this is what we're going to make and it's super easy. Let me see if I'm live on here. Hopefully. Let me see if anybody's watching. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. Yay, I'm on here. All right, I love it when I get a commercial on my own live video. <laughs> hey, Debbie. Hey, Terry. Hey, Norma. Hey, Irene. Hey, Debbie Wilson. Judy, Melinda. We've got lots of people on. Cold here in Delaware Beach. Oh, I've been to Delaware, like Rehoboth, Delaware. Um, hey, Laura. Hey, Pam. All right, lots of people. Hey, everyone. Hope you guys are having a great night. Um, <clears throat> also, I don't know if you noticed this, but see how I've got these lines on the side? So what I did was I embossed, not embossed it, I scored it with my um, cutting tool. You know, my, um, what do you call it? <laughs> this thing <laughs> my paper cutter trimmer my paper trimmer we're gonna do that just to create a different look on the edges so that's super easy it's really an easy card so what we're doing is using the butterfly dies the butterfly brilliance dies I think that's what they're called I should have looked it up <laughs> and I don't know if you guys know this this is the one that comes like a big set of five in the big catalog let me look it up real quick. I should have had this all ready, but I was rushing to get on here because I knew some of you guys might be waiting for me. Here we go. Brilliant Wings. That's the name of it. All right. So it comes as like one big giant die. And then these all come separate. So you've got, oh, no, I've got a commercial on here still. So I can't even see myself. Make sure I'm even straight. Okay. Let me see if I'm caught up okay so we've got the die here this is one big giant die with one two three four five six um, butterflies on there these are separated and I wanted this one separated too so I cut mine with some scissors so mine are all individually actually I have two sets so I have one that's the whole set and one that is the cut up set so if you guys don't want to do that you don't have to but I just cut this one out of a piece of paper like this so this piece of paper is exactly the same size as this piece of paper and then I just put it on top and use it as a stencil or a mask you could call it whatever you want to um, so that's what I did so just took this and you can use this with you can do this with any of our dies but I was trying to find one that was pretty big and this was the biggest butterfly in there but I've seen some really pretty ones with um, dies from other companies but I don't know where they're from but I've just seen some cards like that there was one around Christmas time that had a big giant ornament and somebody would cut that out and it would have it just like this and then they would put like trees and a deer and something in there it was so pretty and there was one with a big giant leaf too that I saw so that's kind of where I got the idea from and then I also practiced so this is one of my rejects well, actually I did this one first but I was trying to use the words from Barry Versailles and you know they're only like this big I really wanted one that would cover the whole thing so I stamped it once in the middle and then I stamped it over here a little bit and then I kind of smeared it over here because I was just trying to get a little bit more and it came out all crooked so that's a reject I mean I'll make a card with it probably but it just wasn't my favorite and then I tried this one with the dahlias in there and I thought well the dahlias cover all the sponging so I didn't like that one so then I said, I need to use some open stamps. So I did this one and then just added some ribbon to it. So let me show you what I did. So that all you need is these Brilliant Wings dies. 
to do it or any die um, set that you have. And then the stamp set that we're using is Quiet Meadow. So we're gonna be using these words, the flowers, and this flower, and these little two flowers here, and the words, so pretty much almost everything. And this is in the big book too, the Quiet Meadow one. And then you can save the butterfly that you punched out to do something else with if you want to. All right, <clears throat> so let's get started. Let me tell you what we're using. And oh, also I got a little update. I did have a new host code starting today. So this is the new host code in case you wanna order something. We've got two weeks left, actually less than two weeks, 13 days left of celebration. And don't forget, you get a free gift with every $50 you purchase. And you get entered in to win a $50 gift certificate from me. And also, there is a joining special right now. So if you want to join for $99, you get about $200 in free product. Not really free. I mean, you're paying $99. But you get $200 in product, including $120, $125 of anything you want, plus any two stamp sets you want, plus a paper pumpkin and free shipping. So that's a good deal. So... Um, just wanted to throw that in there. I'd love to have you as a customer. Um, all right, so I went ahead and did this first and I did it with vanilla, so it'd just be a different color. And I put some post-it tape and I have the link in my description box for the post-it tape in case you don't um, have any. Um, you could use painter's tape also, but this is like a little bit less sticky than that, so I like it because it, it doesn't tear your paper at all. But this is just post-it tape. This is the one inch one. <coughs> Got a little tickle in my throat. All right, so you need a piece of five and a half by eight and a half fresh freesia, and then two pieces of four by five and a half quarter white, one for the front, one for the inside. And then this is just whatever color paper you want. Um, vanilla and white are probably the thinnest ones, so you want something that's thinner um, so you don't get the edges around the paper. I mean, the like here when you're stamping. So try not to use like the thicker cardstock. Even some probably designer paper might work, but then you gotta worry about ripping the paper. So either the white or the vanilla is good to use. And then I just put the two pieces of painter's tape on here. So that's all you need. If you wanna take a screenshot of that, and I'm really crooked over here, aren't I? Let me scoot over a little bit and read some comments real quick. I gotta tell you a funny um, thing real quick too. Let me read some comments. Wow, we have a lot. A lot of people watching 46 already um let's see butterfly hey lisa hey hey cheryl hey carolyn hey terry hey faileen hey jude that's a good song hey jude <laughs> i know it's short for judith right <laughs> um let's see hey cynthia watching with your granddaughter Laylin. All right. Well, hello everyone. I can't read all these comments. Wow, you guys are just so awesome with all these comments. Screen is blurred, uh-oh. Somebody said it's blurry. That's not good. My screen is beautiful, so I don't know what's going on. Mine is really clear, so I'm not sure if that's on your end or mine, but I'm not having any issues on my end on my computer, so. Can you hear me good? Is there any static or anything today? Or does that um, sound good? Hopefully everything's good and then we'll get started. All right, so let me take these off. And this is really a quick card. So <clears throat> I had a um, funny comment couple days ago on the last video so the last video I did what did I do oh I did this card I did the 10 in, in 20 or 30 or 40 minutes it was supposed to be 20 and then it turned out to be like more like 40 minutes because <laughs> I was talking and reading comments so somebody said this was a, somebody from France because every it was the comment was in French and I don't read French or speak French and so it said whatever 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 and the last three words were blah 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 well I think that means the same thing in every language and I just started laughing because I had no idea what the comment said but I could read blah 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 at the end so <laughs> I, I copied and pasted it and put it in the, the Google translator 
And uh, it, said, <laughs> it said, um, an at one hour video <clears throat> and then 30 minutes of tutorial and 30 minutes of blah, blah, blah. <laughs> started to reply and I said nope so I was just gonna delete the comment but then I found out I can actually block these people so if somebody writes a mean comment like that I can just block them and they can never watch my videos again so that's what I did so now I know if, if you don't like it then you don't ever have to watch it again <laughs> So I just thought that was funny all right so we're gonna start with this one so I'm just taping this to this piece so this is the front and it's exactly the same size as my uh, mask. And I'm just putting that post-it tape to hold it down. And then we're gonna start sponging first. So I've got my blending brushes and I've got um, Balmy Blue and Fresh Freesia. So we're gonna start with the Fresh Freesia and just um, sponge the top here. So we're just gonna, oh, I need some scrap paper. So we're just gonna tap off and I think it's so pretty um this piece right here that's actually like just the mask part is really pretty so you're just gonna sponge this let me scoot this over well I'm gonna put the ink pad on this side okay here we go so we're gonna sponge this just on the top half oh we gotta read the comments for a second Oh, that's a good idea, Cynthia. She says I get paper pumpkin every month, and after I use the stuff I get, I punch. After I use the punched out stuff, she uses the leftover negative space as a stencil. That's a good idea. I know. I thought that comment was very rude. <laughs> oh, Cynthia, you had a house fire, and you lost all of your dies and stamps. Oh no, that's awful. I'm not sure why people feel the need to be negative about something that has nothing to do. I know it. I don't get that either. I'm like doing free videos. It's not like I'm charging you to watch it. <laughs> and if you don't like the talking, you can fast forward. I just don't get that. You know, so many people charge for their videos and classes and stuff, and I do it for free. And then have people complain about it. And I'm like, how can you complain about something that's free? If you don't like it, don't watch it. So, I know some of you guys watch the Super Bowl. I am totally not a football person or sports at all. I watch no sports. But I always um, like to see, after the um, Super Bowl, the commercials. Because, for some reason, all the best commercials for the whole entire year are in the Super Bowl. So, I rarely watch commercials because I tape almost everything I watch. So this is Balmy Blue, and um, so I go on YouTube and watch all the, the best um, commercials from the Super Bowl. And there's one that was my favorite, and this has been on for actually a couple weeks now. It's the one with Scarlett Johansson, and um, I guess it's her husband, I don't know. I would think it's her husband, it could be an actor, but um, it's the Alexa commercial. And so they like walk in the house and um, the big game's coming on and the husband says, Alexa, um, the big game is coming on. And she says, okay, um, turn lights down, turn on TV and chill Rosé in the refrigerator. And she, Scarlett Johansson looks at him and she's like, oh my gosh, it's like Alexa can read our minds. And so then it goes into different scenes, you know, with them together. And the one, the next scene is like, they're laying in bed and they wake up and she goes, oh, I just love lying in bed and relaxing. And you can see the husband is like trying to cover his nose because she has bad breath. And Alexa goes, um, note to self, order more mouthwash, extra strength. <laughs> and, and, and she's looking at him like, because Alexa's saying this, you know, whatever he's thinking. And then, um, let's see, what else is on there? There's what, How many of you guys have seen this commercial? It's like hysterical. Yeah, Irene says that was a funny commercial. It's so funny. Um, 
Anyway, there's like a scene in it where um, he, they're in the kitchen and he's just like talking and talking and talking and she's just looking at him like, oh, shut up. And then all, all of a sudden Alexa goes, start blender. And the blender starts going so, you know, nobody can hear him talking. And then they're sitting at the dinner table with a bunch of friends over for dinner. And so this is all done now. We've sponged all this. Let me see what it looks like. So we can just take that off. So that's what it looks like, just sponged. But I'm gonna leave it on here because I'm gonna stamp in it. So you can sponge it as dark as you want, as light as you want, it doesn't matter. So they're having a bunch of people over for dinner and this guy goes, oh, this bread is so good. Did you make it yourself? And she's like, oh yes, it's my Gammy's recipe. I made it from scratch. And Alexa comes out and says, um, that really means bought at Whole Foods. <laughs> And the husband, whatever his name is, left the oysters in the out for five hours and didn't tell anyone. And so they all like spit their food out. But it was so funny. I was you got you got to look on YouTube for the commercial because it's hysterical. All right, so we're gonna take what is the smoky slate. So did anybody else see some funny commercials? Because that's what I was watching uh, last night. All right, so I'm gonna stamp the words right here in the top part. Hopefully, I'll get them straight because I can't see very good. Let me test this one. See if they're straight. Mm, mostly. All right, I'm put this right on the top. And hopefully it's straight. That looks pretty good. And I think I'm gonna do a little bit more right here. All right, so we've got a little bit of words in there. And that was Smoky Slate. So, so far we've had Balmy Blue, Smoky Slate, and Fresh Freesia. Doesn't do, do any of you guys who have been around a long time remind does this remind you of Orchid Opulence? We had that about maybe 10 years ago. I think this is like exactly the same color as Orchid Opulence, which was one of my favorites. Oh, we need the ball blue still. All right, so next we're going to stamp the flowers in Pacific Point. And <laughs> I didn't have a stamp big enough for this, but it didn't matter because I just wanted the top part anyway. So I'm just gonna ink up this top part and then we're gonna stamp this like right over here on the left and give it a really good press because you wanna try and get in where the edges are so it doesn't leave that gap in there, but it probably still will. So that looks good. And then we're gonna do this flower in Rich Razzleberry. So this was Pacific Point, and I wanna leave that out because I'm doing the words in that color too. So we're gonna do some of these little, uh, or big flowers right here. And do one more right there. And then I wanna put the little flowers right in the middle. And they're gonna be in Pacific Point too. So we've got these two little flowers I just kinda of stuck on the same block. So I'm just gonna stamp those, oh shoot. Put that in the wrong color. These are Pacific Point. Stamp them in the antenna. And that's probably good. Oh, I forgot. That flower goes on the inside. Oh, and then we need the words for that too. All right, so um, on the inside of the card, we're gonna put some of these flowers too. So just stamp it like three times like that. This stamp is Rich Razzleberry. This is a really good color to do like three generations of stamping. Some stamps don't go that far. They kind of dry out on the second one and you can't see it. But this color, a lot of the um, purpley colors work really well for that. All right, so then that's the inside. Now we want to stamp the words. So we're done with this. So we can take this off. And I'm going to score it now. So we're going to get our um, paper cutter, the trimmer out. And what I'm going to do, I always do mine upside down just because I'm, I don't know, I'm right handed and I just like it on this side. So what I'm going to do is make sure I've got the cutting blade out of the way because I don't want to accidentally cut this. Now on this side, you have measurements just like you do on this side. So I'm going to score it at a quarter, one at, at one quarter of an inch and half an inch. And we're just gonna put a little score there. This is not flat, but it's not working very good. All right, that came out okay though. And then I'm gonna put it at a uh, quarter of an inch. 
All right, so there you go. You got those. For some reason, it's not doing it right there very good. And then I'm gonna turn it, so I'm gonna do it on all four sides, or you can go by this edge too, if you wanna go like three and three quarters and three and a half to do it. I think it's because I don't have it flat, maybe, I don't know. So we're gonna go back to three and a half inches and score it one more time. Then we're gonna turn it again and score it at five and four and three quarters. So it's, it's a quarter of an inch and half an inch from each end, each edge. So three and three quarters. I just think this kind of gives a really fun look to it. I was trying to do something with the background and I didn't want to cut it, so I just did that. All right, so we're done with that. Then I took the blue. Now you don't have to, but I took the blue and sponged it a little bit. So this is the balmy blue again. And let me get my scrap paper back out. And read some comments, let me see. Um, oh, hey Judith. Hey Patricia, hey Catherine. Those Clydesdales commercials are the best. Yes, those are good. I haven't seen any Budweiser commercials lately. Penny says, that commercial is so funny. It is. It is a funny commercial. Let me see. I don't watch it. I root for the Clydesdales. <laughs> I don't watch the, I don't like sports at all. I mean, I could never watch sports in my life and I would be fine. Um, but you should go, um, on YouTube and watch the best commercials of the Super Bowl because they're the funniest commercials like of the whole year. And the funny thing is like you hardly ever see any of them again. It's like after the Super Bowl's over, they don't ever show them for some reason. But normally I just DVR stuff and then fast forward through everything because I don't like commercials, but that Alexa one is funny. And last year the Alexa one was a really good one too. It had this really gorgeous guy. I can't remember what his name was. And he had like these piercing blue eyes and I can't remember what, he was He was Alexa, but I have to go back and watch it. But the guy who was in it was gorgeous. All right, so we're just putting a little teeny bit of blue just around the edge, and that'll kind of pick up the, the lines here. There is another technique that's called faux tile, I think, faux tile stamping, where you score your cardstock before you stamp and then you stamp on the scored pieces and so the ink doesn't go down into the creases and then it looks like you've got a tile floor with like grout in it. Maybe I'll find that um, card. That I, I've got a really pretty card with that and I'll do it again with a different stamp set. All right so just sponged a little bit of blue on there. Now we've got to stamp our words. So this is pretty easy. You could really whip out a bunch of these like fast if you cut out a bunch of um, stencils. All right, this is Pacific Point. So I'm gonna try and get this straight without getting my head in the picture. So hold on one sec. I might need to scoot it down a little bit. Try and get it above that line. Oh man, it's crooked. Oh well. It's hard to do it when I can't get right on top of it. But it's close enough. All right, now we're gonna make a little bow. So I did a double knot with the um, baker's twine, the white baker's twine. So what I always do is kind of measure it. Okay, there's two loops and the tail, and then I double that because I wanna do a double one. So there's my ribbon. And then I'm just gonna tie a double um, bow here. And a lot of people were asking me about that bow maker I used in the video a couple times ago last week and the link is in my description box if you want to get that but it's really a fun little thing for making bows especially if you're not very good at it so I thought it was cute I like it and most of my customers liked it some of them didn't want to try it they just want me to do it but it makes a perfect bow every single time all right so now we've got our little bow and we're gonna put this down on the fresh freesia and let's put this inside the card and use some green glue. And there you 
you go. I looked at the weather coming up. It's supposed to be like 60s and 70s coming up in the next week. I'm so excited. It's like winter's almost gone. So this weekend coming up, I'm going to be doing a stamping retreat kind of thing in North Carolina with one of my downline, actually two of my downline. And um, we've got about 35 people coming, so I'm really excited about that. So on Saturday, that's pretty much all day Saturday. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do a video Saturday because I'll be there and I won't have my stand and everything with me. So I might not be doing a video Saturday. It might have to be Sunday when I get home. So if you don't see me Saturday night for date night, that's where I am. So I might miss you guys. All right, just put a glue dot on the back of this. And I just got ink on there with my finger, I think. I know you guys might have to actually like go out and have a real date on Saturday. <laughs> Since you won't have a date with me. All right, so there you go. We're going to trim that up a little bit. I love this white baker's twine. And then do both sides. Oops, that's shorter. Got to have them equal. Okay, so there you go. We've got our little bow. And then we want to, you don't have to put a bow on there if you don't like the bow. You don't have to do that. Um, kind of covers it up a little bit, doesn't it? You could make it shorter, but I just thought it was cute. Um, all right, so now we've got these iridescent rhinestones, which are my favorite little embellishments from the Spring Mini. And they are back in stock. They were sold out for a while, but they are back in stock. I just ordered like five packs this morning. All right, so we're going to take a medium one and put it, oops, put it right on the bow there, and then take a couple more of the smaller ones and just put them wherever you want, like that. And then we need some shimmer spray, and I didn't bring it, so we're gonna have to use Stella. So Stella's gonna get a spanking tonight, because I forgot my spray. Let me see, let's use the there we go. Hopefully you guys can see that sparkling on there. So there you go. So there's my card for tonight. Let me read some comments. Oh, dinner's almost ready. You have to leave. What? Those colors look pretty together. Thank you. That butterfly is so cute. Thank you guys. No date night with Lisa. No, I don't think I'll be able to do it because I don't think she has a setup to do videos there. So it probably would be Sunday night instead. Oh, wow, you had a big ice storm. I'm hoping we have no more ice or snow or anything. I have 77, oh, that's pretty good for a Tuesday night. It will be fun, I can't wait. Well, thank you guys so much for joining me tonight. I know it was a shorter than normal video because I, well, usually I try to keep them under 30 minutes, but last time I, um, oh, I guess it was 30 minutes because we didn't start till quarter after, but you know, I don't want to just blah, blah, blah you to death. <laughs> if you came on late, you missed my story about the, the French comment I got from someone that said something in French, whatever. And the last three words were blah, blah, blah. And I said, well, I know what that says before I even translate it. <laughs> but it was funny. All right. So those are the cards um, for you. I hope you enjoyed this technique. Let me know what you think. Uh, make sure you do a thumbs up, like, subscribe, um, comment, all that good stuff. Share it. And I will be back Thursday. I am not sure exactly what time because I'm off, but I'll be packing and getting ready. So whenever, I don't know. I might do it Thursday night. It just depends on what I'm doing. But it'll be sometime Thursday. So I'll see you later. Y'all have a great night and um, take care. Bye-bye.